The basic hand over hand coiling techniques work well, um, but sometimes it requires a lot of body strength to pull a hundred foot piece of feeder cable. If your body strength, if you don't have enough body strength to do the hand over hand method we, ju we demonstrated, you may want to use another method using your entire, your entire frame of your body. Um, we still have to worry about where the cable's been, so our gloves are important, um, but this technique will help you um, on long days if, you're, if your upper body strength is starting to fail or if you don't have the upper body strength to drag the entire hundred feet of cable, especially through sand is a good time. Um, this is the technique I use when I'm dragging cable through difficult situations. Again, we want to start, make sure that the uh, cable is de-energized. Our ties are free and clear. Take and pull with your body, your entire body rather than just your arms. So you can really get your back and your legs into the motion of pulling. So get a little bit going pulling it out that way. Again, lay out your ties. Get the coil started. And then rather than being square to the cable, turn your body slightly sideways. And this way you can use your entire frame to pull it. We have to put the twists into it but you can use your entire frame and both arms to pull it because it, it, this four out feeder cable is a pound a foot. It might be 0.98 pounds per foot, but this is gonna be a 100 pound roll of cable. So we need to get the pull with both of our hands and get it to twist when we lay it into the cable. So we can use our back our legs and our arms rather than just our arms in the hand over hand method. It sometimes gets a little difficult to twist the cable, but we can use both hands and then twist it after you get the length to you. But you're using your entire body rather than just your arms because your arms will get tired after your first 50 pieces. But use your entire frame to do it. That way you can get, you don't get as tired. And then once you get down to a, a manageable length, you can switch to the basic hand over hand and get it to go. If the cable, the ends aren't gonna match up, you can uncoil, take three coils off of it and shift it from the inside to the outside so that your ends match up easily. And again, because we've laid our ties out, we can pick it up now, get it tight.
tighten down the, uh, the tie, do a square knot, Work the slack out. And leave it standing so it's easier to pick up.